Hi Chimps, welcome to another episode of Guitar Chimp Television. It is I, Gerald, and Matt. And this is just no first looks, first looks. number 24. <laughs> yes, I think it's sir. 24. I'm pretty positive. I'm it's pretty 24. sure. Well, we've got another five for you. Should we get on it? Okay, let's do it. All right. We'll start with uh let's do the little guy. Cool. Doesn't look like a guitar. No, obviously not a guitar. It's got a Collings logo on the side. So. Yes, sir. Uh, what we have here is a Collings MT Mandolin. I believe this is a later, that's like a 2018. I don't buy tons of mandolins, but from time to time, I do buy them. We used to have a luthier that worked for us named Moses who uh, plays mandolin in a punk rock band called Folk Hogan. That's why I started buying mandolins. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. That one's really nice. Really nice. Yeah, Callings always makes, everything they make is really, really quality. I've always said that if I was going to sell new acoustics, that Collins would be one of the manufacturers that I, I would want to carry for sure. But good looking. It looks like we've got a spruce top on this one. And then uh, flame oh. maple back and sides. Yeah, that thing's beautiful. I really like yeah. the neck. Too. Yeah, it looks like the, the neck is also looks like a flame maple neck, possibly. And is it a V? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it definitely feels like a hard V for sure. Nice. Just a little a little guy hard V. Yeah. So very very cool if you're into playing backwards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're into, <laughs> into playing upside, playing upside down, down, upside this is down. Your thing. No, it's cool, man. Yeah. These things you can tell it's it's a piece of art. Yeah. They they do a good job. I like them a lot. Yeah. I'll be looking beautiful. forward to hearing Rich make sweet music on this. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it comes with a little Collins case. I don't think there's anything in this little pocket. I mean, you got a little key in there. It's like a humidifier. Yeah. In there. Yeah. When, yeah. When you have something this nice, you definitely want to take care of it. it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> Wood smells really good. Yeah, Can it, I it say? does, dude. <laughs> That's like. Yeah. All right. Cool, that's something we don't see every day. No, definitely not. Let's see, what else do we have? Okay. Looks like a big case. Yeah. Maybe Can it's I an acoustic. Get some Probably not an acoustic. No, it's a little skinny for. Yeah, that's not going to be the nice acoustic, side, right? Yeah. What else? Oh. Cool. Uh, looks like we have a Gibson ES335 in what appears to be blue burst. Wow. Super cool. See in there, we got the. Yeah, I, be I believe this is a newer uh, Memphis 335. Pretty cool though, it's it's blue burst, has an ABR1 bridge. It does have binding, the binding, it's, it's black binding. Yeah. Super cool. That's really cool. Dot inlays. The neck on this thing, I, you know, I don't know what caliper measurements are, but it feels pretty chunky on this. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, well, yeah, it just feels wide. I don't know. I'd have to see the caliber measurements. I really like how the black makes the blue pop. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for blue guitars. Blue don't own one, but all... I, I love the blue. Yeah. Maybe you should buy this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Yeah. <laughs> but the, you can see the wood through the blue. That's really cool. It's super cool. Yeah, this one's cute. Yeah, at least the 2018 is what it is. Made in Memphis. I like the Memphis stuff. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, yeah the I love the little burst on the headstock. You can yeah. see right there. Yeah, it's that's, that's COA. Really cool. This case isn't, honestly, this case is not my favorite, but I suppose it's a case. Yeah, it keeps us know. safe. I mean, certificate of authenticity. Is. Sweet. A strap, it looks like. And it is a strap, a Gibson strap. Cool. Yeah, that one's really, really cool. All right, we'll move it on. Black and blue, it's a good color. Okay. 
What do we got next? Here's, here's one that I guarantee you guys have probably not seen. Yes, I think it's a Parker, but it's not just a Parker. Oh, what? Where did the pickups go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's a sleek guitar. Yeah, there's no pickups on that. My guess would be it's a piezo pickup. Yeah. Something. Cool. So what we have here is a Parker Fly bronze, like a Parker bronze guitar, I think is what they're called. I just know it's the, it's essentially like Parker's T5, their Taylor T5. There's a piezo pickup and uh, that's how you rock with this thing. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. Gosh, this thing is like, <laughs> Oh, super light. Yeah, bro. It has to be like three pounds. So. Yeah, normal like, Parkers, like a lot of the Parker stuff we get is really light. I right. imagine taking the pickups completely out is gonna make it, so make it light. even more light. Yeah, I don't know what, I feel like these are made out of poplar or something like that. Yeah. If this thing is Base super wood, poplar, light. Man. Alder, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, and then of course we always talk about the belly. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, what did you call this? Uh, the, the, dad bod cut that's that's the yeah. dad bod cut dad bod cut yeah right there that's where it happens <laughs> somebody's looking out somebody is no those guitars are always great though yeah i like parker guitars the thing i like about them is, th is that they don't feel like anything else that we normally have right they don't really feel like anything else other than a parker so as somebody who has who plays lots of guitars, I, I like variety. You yeah. Know, I, uh, I get sick of all the same, uh, I don't know. I don't yeah, you're picking up 10 pound Les Paul Customs all the time. Right, right. Then yeah. you pick up this thing and it, it weighs nothing. Yeah. Uh, and and it's yes, just the so, action on them is usually really, really yeah, good. The, it, the necks are always really thin, but they feel even thinner because of that dad bod carve gets everything even further back. So it just yeah. makes it feel super thin. Yes. This that thing's is crazy. super cool looking. Yep. It's got a little bit of wear on it, but it's just good luck finding another one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, moving right on. on. Lots of interesting ones. What do we got now? Nothing bad ever comes out of one of these cases. No, 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 no. So what we've got here is a Gibson Les Paul Custom. I'm not sure what the exact color is on it, uh, but it's it looks like, like copper, some something. sort of copper or something like that. I'll have to go back and look to figure out what the exact color was on this, but the whole thing is, it's like a copper gold top kind of, it's pretty cool looking. Yeah. I, I don't know if in the video it does it as much justice as in person because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it just looks it's such a cool color super super cool yeah i love that the, the gold hardware i think actually goes really really well with it i know a lot of people i think people are partial to gold hardware some people are cool with it but a lot of people are not uh because it's like too eccentric i think but really with this copper or whatever it is it 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 blends really, really well. It's not too too flashy, if that makes any sense. Yeah, uh, I, really, I agree. I really like the way it looks. I really like the way it's it's all, like they didn't just do the top. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this thing's really clean too. Super clean. And then we've got our lift and reissue style case. It looks like we've got some stuff in here. We've got. All this stuff. Key. Yeah. Check it out. We've got the final pre pack checklist. And then, uh, 
We have a certificate of authenticity. Cool. Yeah, that thing is beautiful for sure. All right, well, moving on to the next. <laughs> on to the next. How many more we got? Just I think this is the last one, actually. Oh. Chainsaw case. Yep, looks like a chainsaw case. Some from the se late 70s, 80s, something like that. Okay. Oh boy. beautiful color yeah so what we have here is a 1980 gibson les paul custom and sunburst solid <laughs> yeah but lifting that after the parker right right <laughs> yeah it's like three parkers yeah <laughs> yeah no it's probably more than that it yeah. might even be <laughs> yeah three or four parkers well, so 1980 Gibson Les Paul Custom in Tobacco Sunburst is the color. Super cool. Got a little bit of wear on it, but the pickups are all original. Everything's original on this except for the the strap buttons, but there's strap buttons. Who cares yeah. about that? Yeah. Even the, the knobs look original. I can see the, uh, like the yellowing of the, of the numbers and in, in the knobs. And I love the burst on the sides and the yeah. neck. Super good looking. Yeah, um, that's one of my favorite colors we've gotten in of. Yeah. Bus Paul Customs, that's great. Yep, and then we've got some flame on the back of that neck. You can see that. Is this a three piece neck? It yeah. Like or it'll loop. be a, uh, yeah, it's a three piece maple neck. Yep. Wow. Ebony board, original pickups. So it'll have T tops in them, which will scream. I mean, this is. This is rock. <laughs> yeah. This is rock and roll. I said that the the three pickup wine red Les Paul Custom was the most rock and roll guitar of all time, but this would be right there with it. Yeah. Yep. And that's why I bought it. It's because it rocks. Such a cool color. Yeah, man. Well, cool. That's all we've got for today. If you like what you saw, go ahead and do me a favor and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And then if you could do us a super solid, that reverb link, hit that. If you buy something, it just gives us a little bit of credit. That's all we got. Sweet. Oh yeah, what's going on, chips? If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. If you don't like what you saw, go ahead and hit the dislike button and leave me a comment. Ooh.